Now, more bad news for Ticketmaster. A notorious hacking group says it has stolen personal data from people who've used their website. And what's worse, the hackers are even offering that data up to the highest bidder. KCAL's Juan Fernandez here now with more. Juan. Susie Chauncey, if you have a Ticketmaster account, you may want to change your password. According to a data security expert I spoke with today, what happened to Ticketmaster is one of the top five security breaches of all time, affecting more than 500 million customers. A group called Shiny Hunters that first emerged in 2020 is taking responsibility for the Ticketmaster data breach, saying the compromised information it got its hands on includes names, phone numbers, and partial credit card information of customers. Live Nation, parent company of Ticketmaster, confirmed the breach in a federal filing Friday with the Securities and Exchange Commission, saying in part, on May 20th, 2024, Live Nation Entertainment Inc. identified unauthorized activity within a third-party cloud database environment containing company data and launched an investigation with industry-leading forensic investigators to understand what happened. On May 27, 2024, a criminal threat actor offered what it alleged to be company user data for sale via the dark web. Pete Nicoletti with Checkpoint Software Technologies explains what that means. And it looks like what this is what's called a supply chain breach, where it's not a direct breach of Ticketmaster, but it's a, a one of their partners looks like to be breached where they had their database of all their names and credit card uh, information and addresses and emails. This is a big issue when you outsource uh, your data storage to a partner. According to the hackers, the information of millions of customers has a price, $500,000 on the dark web. Whether or not there's a buyer out there for it is still unknown. What security experts want people to know is that a scammer can target people whose data was stolen by putting them at risk for a range of other scams. Now is not the time to let your guard down. They're going to trick you and a lot of other people into clicking on malicious links that are going to lead to additional breaches, whether it's taking over your computer or identity theft or uh, making you, you know, have a, a fake website that looks like you're putting in your credit card information for the $50 Taylor Swift tickets, and it really isn't. Live Nation has been in the hot seat recently after the Department of Justice, along with 29 states, filed an antitrust lawsuit saying the company controls 60% of concert promotions at major venues and 80% of ticketing, driving out competition, which leads to higher prices for concert goers. Live Nation says they are not a monopoly. Well, past victims of shiny hunters have included Microsoft and AT&T, among dozens of other companies in the U.S. and around the world. As serious as the breach was, one expert does say that some of the info the group claims to have stolen was likely already publicly available. Still, one should always be careful and change your passwords, as I mentioned, and check bank and credit card statements for any abnormalities, just to be sure. Yeah. Chauncey and Susie, I'll send it back to you now. Mm, good advice there, Juan. Thanks.